welcome my new friend Justin Fidel. Okay. All right. Well, it's good to be around singers. I, I grew up around singers, mostly around preachers, because my daddy's a preacher. That makes me a PK. But I don't go by PK anymore. I go by TO. I'm a theological offspring. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, and I've sat in church all my life, ever since I was barely bigger than a butter bean. And I grew up listening to preachers. And so I'd like to have a little bit of preacher fun for those in the group here tonight and those who might be watching this because we like preaching. And good preaching has its own characteristics. You ever notice that? You ever notice how preachers go up high and come down low? And they get loud! <laughs> and they get soft. <laughs> and they talk in trip. I said they talk in trip. I said they talk in triplicate. <laughs> and they say things. I said they say. I said they say things three times. <laughs> If you don't believe me, have you ever heard them say, in closing, just once? <laughs> no, there's two or three more coming. Don't zip your Bible up yet. <laughs> just, it's for real. That's the way they talk. I think it's the Trinity coming out in them, you know. <laughs> amen, amen, and amen. I was at McDonald's. This man walks up, and he looked like a preacher. He had the preacher look, you know. And he walked up and go, I'll have a big, I'll have a big, I'll have a big Mac. <laughs> and a order of fries. <laughs> Sir, you're a preacher. And you was. And you have a preacher and you have the other element of the ministry, which is the preacher's wife. Who has to play the piano, sing alto, cook fried chicken, and look good at conventions. <laughs> And if you got that, then you're almost ready to pastor. But you can't pastor unless you got the sermon. And here is a sermon for you. You ready? The Lord said to Noah, he said, Noah, I want you to build me an ark. And I want you to build it out of gopher wood. And Noah says to the Lord, he says, Lord, what's gopher wood? And the Lord said to Noah, he said, Noah, shut up your silly questions and go for wood. So Noah took his ass and he went a chopping on the tallest cedars of Lebanon. But what should happen as he's chopping? But that exit flies off the handle and into the river Jordan. But did that exit sink? No, it did not sink. But it began to swim. And Noah reached for that axe head, but it swam away from him. And he reached again for that axe head, but it swam away from him. So Noah called on the ravens. Ooh, and the ravens brought the axe head to him. Can you say Honolulu? Oh, I want to go there. <laughs> so Noah finishes building the ark. And he says, it's time to bring the animals on board the ark. So he brings the animals on board the ark, the elephants and the kangaroos. And he says, hold it. And he cries over all the land, hold it. I'm a missing a billy goat. And he cries over all the land, I'm a missing a billy goat. And who should come along with that time of Shadrach, Meshach, and the billy goat? And they go, <laughs> He's looking, he says, hold it. I'm a missing a leper. And he cries out over all the land, I'm a missing a leopard. And who should come along with that time? But Elisha, and they brought him name and the leopard, and he got on more the ark. <laughs> And he's looking at all the animals on board the ark except for one stubborn donkey. Balaam's donkey. And he goes over to the donkey and he says to the donkey, Donkey, get on board the ark. The donkey turned to Noah and he says, Noah, I ain't getting on board that ark. It ain't seaworthy. So Noah says it's time to build an altar. And he goes down to the brook and he picks up five smooth stones. <laughs> One forever tribe of Israel. <laughs> and he says to the donkey, Donkey, if you don't get on board the ark now, you're going to be the first burnt offering on this altar. Oh, the donkey got on board the ark. Saying you say, Hallelujah. Oh, I want to go there. All the animals are on board the ark. The doors were shut. Mrs. Noah goes to the top of the ark to look for rain. And she says, I see no rain, Noah. So the second day she climbs back up, she looks out. I see no rain, Noah. 
third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, I see no rain, no. Ark's beginning to smell pretty funny about right now. <laughs> Noah's on his knees interceding. And on the seventh day, she climbs up and she looks out. She says, oh, I see a cloud the size of a man's hand. <laughs> And the rains came down and the floods came up. I said, the rains came down and the floods came up. Oh, the rains came down and the floods came up. And that old ark was tossed around like a boat on the lake of Genesaret. When what should happen but a giant whale came and swallowed up that ark. <laughs> well, that old ark sitting in the belly of a whale when they hear a because of the faith of all the inhabitants on board the ark. They lowered Brother Jonah down through the roof and he's a man that made whole. Who can you say hallelujah? I want to go there. Well, that old whale's begin to feel a turning and a churning and a turning and a churning. And he throws up that ark onto Mount Ararat. And on board the ark was an Ethiopian eunuch. And he says, no, what that hindered me from being baptized? There is much water here. So they threw open the doors. Noah steps out on the waters, and as his foot hits the waters, the waters spill back. <laughs> and they're on dry ground. David and his men were marching along. David says to his men, men, let us bring the ark into the city. <laughs> so they go to bring the ark into the city. When who should David meet on that road to Jerusalem? That old nemesis, Goliath. And David says to Goliath, Goliath, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. They picked up 12 stones from the altar, one for every tribe is your only stones in the day. And he took his sword and he lopped off Goliath's head. And the blood flowed as high as a horse's bridle. They're nearing the city gates. They're nearing the city gates. When who should David meet? Taught them from the tower, but that a wicked witch, Jezebel. And David says, cast her down. And they cast her down. She says, oh, I have a double portion. And they cast her down again. <laughs> seven and times seven, they cast her down. And all the fragments that remained were enough to fill 12 baskets. And whose wife will she be on the day of judgment? They're nearing the city gates, trying to get the ark through the city gates. And they tried, but it wouldn't fit through. And they tried, but it wouldn't fit through. So David calls on Samson. And Samson carries out the gates of the city. And as he did, the winds came. The winds came. The winds came. But those gates prevailed. Then the storms came. The storms came. But those gates prevailed. The winds came. The storms came. Then hailstones fell. Hailstones the size of pebbles to boulders and smash the gates to dust. <laughs> Showers of blessings. A splatter scream. Because it is written, the gates shall not prevail against the hail. Bow your hands and let's take it for the offering. Woo!